Hey, what's up everyone? My name is Hazard, and now we're reacting to animated horror stories by Llama Arts called School Lockdown Stories Animated. Now, if you haven't seen my previous video, it was about me reacting to uh, another Llama Arts video called The Roommate. That one was pretty creepy. If you haven't seen that video, please go check it out. If you're not subscribed to this channel already, please subscribe because if we reach 100 subscribers, I'll make my own TikTok compilation video. And um, also make sure to follow me on TikTok as well, at Hezron17 if you don't know how to spell that. H E Z R O N 17 all together, and that's the end of me talk. And that's all I have to say. So, no me talking, let's get on with the video. It was a typical boring day in calculus, only it was Friday, seventh period, meaning the week was almost over and spring break would finally be upon us. Oh, so, everybody was I getting antsy in their seats, I could tell. One week, we didn't have a test week, that day break. like a lot of my friends did with their so other teachers. School, next so our break. teacher in the middle of class just decided to start playing games with us on Sporkle.com. He was a very laid-back teacher like that. Uh, cool. As we were doing cool. some brand logo quiz on Sporkle, I remember the exact Sparkle. moment it happened. Is that like, is that like a rip-off version of Kahoot? Right after my friend answered a question, I remember the exact answer too, Adidas. The Dean's voice came through the loudspeaker. He sounded panicked and frantic as he told all the teachers this was not a drill and to go into lockdown. I actually got the chills and I got goosebumps on my arms as our usually laid back teacher too seemed panicked as he ran to turn off the lights and ushered us to the back corner of the room. We all sat in silence for about two minutes and then the usual buzzing that came from a panel in the back of the room ceased, indicating that the school must have cut all the power. We all looked at each other, realizing this must be serious. Yeah, of course a few serious. more minutes of waiting later, we heard a man screaming at the top of his lungs coming down the hallway. Oh, here. Two girls in the class actually started crying, which made all of us even more scared. As the screaming got closer to the classroom, the lunatic sounding man started banging on the lockers while screaming, I'll kill all of you. It was at that moment that I Whoa. started to fear for my life. My teacher shushed us as we all looked at each other to see our peers' reactions. That, bro. Quiet the banging then up, moved bro. from the lockers to our classroom door. Blood? And that's when one of the crying girls screamed no. The banging on the door what? only grew worse Whoa. as the man started screaming open up. Bro, Two of the, the girls girl in the class up? were crying out loud now. It felt like an eternity that that man was pounding at the door, Bro, you're but eventually, he, he finally cause... continued down the hallway, screaming like a mentally insane person, until we could not hear him anymore. I'd That's say ten scary, minutes later, bro. though it felt like half an hour given well, the situation, quiet, the dean bro. came back on the loudspeaker I mean, explaining the situation, situation which was surprising shitless, for him to do. But he explained that some apparently mentally and, unstable person entered the building and, and assaulted the woman know. sitting at the front desk, causing her to the flee the building screaming, and staff wasn't sure if the man was armed or not. Now this was before the school had cameras or could afford proper security, so the school was wide open to something like this happening. The staff had done a sweep of all the hallways and classrooms and couldn't find him, so the dean instructed the teachers to resume teaching but to keep all the doors locked and to not what? let any students leave for any reasons. Why? The most disturbing part, how- Whoa, okay, so here's what- The guy's still in the school. Okay. So that this is what they say. They can't find him. So, they're gonna search around the hallway, every corner, and just continue teaching but lock the doors. No, stay in the corner still, like- Oh my gosh, bro. However- These, these do- every teacher- People think education's like- above your life is that one of that. the janitors working the night shift found the man sleeping in one of the storage closets near the back end of the school and according to rumors that were spread by my peers sticking out of his pocket was a 44 magnum the janitor must have done something stupid to wake him up for example leaving the closet door open because by the time a police officer could arrive on the scene the man was gone my entire class, as far as I know, to this day, has no Close idea if this man know, was ever found, coming. but I like to think that right now, he's being given the proper help that he needs. Yo, that was creepy, bro. Oh my gosh, so... 
uh, the, the girl was stupid. Why would you cry out loud to let him know you're in a classroom? Like, bro. So, that was the video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If it did, please like, comment, and subscribe. Okay, bye, everyone.